How did Canada come to be the robotic arm people? Canada contributed the Canadarm and Canadarm 2 for the Shuttle and ISS, respectively. With the Lunar Gateway Canada will contribute the Canadarm 3. How did Canada come to make the Canadarm in the first place? Do they continue to just because it's tradition now or is there something particular about the Canadian Space Agency that makes them especially suited for robotic arm design, construction? I think there is a better answer than just saying politics. That is just too glib and shallow. There is obviously more substantial reasons behind the development and use of Canadarm than partisanship and perhaps these reasons should be explored. At the time the shuttle was being planned in the post-Apollo era, although there may have been many kinds of robotic handlers being developed, not all of them had the technology that suited the harsher environment of space and also were sufficiently developed to provide a reliable arm. Many vendors might have been willing to research and develop such an arm but few had one that could be demonstrated. By a quirk of serendipity Dilworth, Secord, Marr and Associates DSMA Atcon of Toronto had already researched and created a long-reach robotic handler for hazardous environments in the 1970s as part of the CANDU nuclear reactor program. It was the closest to what NASA required and they won the contract for CANADARM as a result. Later the technology was used by McDonald, Detweiler and Associates MDA for CANADARM2, who later became Maxar Technologies. Source, the Canadian Encyclopedia.